awesome. I've got a new hairstyle, people. Hair Given Hair is really doing it for me. They are making 4C wigs. Oh my God, their clippings are amazing, but now they are making wigs and I just had to try it out. You ready? So Ooh. let's get into it. The first thing yes. that I did was to dye this hair. I just bleached it actually. I used Ferti Developer and some bleach powder and I lifted the hair, some parts more than others. It really wasn't that difficult. I washed that out, deep conditioned the hair and then I'm gonna do some Bantu knots to give it a little nice little curl pattern. I definitely make sure to run my fingers through the hair while it's wet to take out any little knots or shedded hair because you definitely don't want it to start tangling up. Not 4C hair, mm -mm, you don't want that. Because when it dries, it will end up being all muddled and you will look like a shredded mop. You don't want that. But you can see that it has a really nice curl pattern. It's almost like a, a 4B, kind of 4C-ish when it's wet, but when it dries, it's definitely 4C hair. The thing I love about this wig is that it has no tracks. So it is pure scalp. If you wear a black or dark wig cap or just your natural hair on any, you won't be able to see anything. So you can act like this is your real scalp, people. So all I do here is put in some Bantu knots I'm using Shea Moisture Hair Milk and a little bit of Cantu Moisturizer as well as some Castor Oil and I'm using a little bit of Argan Oil in there as well. That's what you're seeing, that little milky texture coming through, it's just moisturizer. Once I'm done with the whole wig, I just pop it on my head. I have taken out my braids in the front because that's what I'm gonna have as my leave out. You actually don't need a leave out with this because it is a full lace wig. You can use your got to be glued, you can use your got to be free spray, you can use whatever it is that you use to lay your wigs. You can go ahead and do that if you don't want to have a leave out, but for my natural girls, for my really, really natural, pure natural, don't want to do anything, just want to pop it on and go, I just leave a little bit of leave out and tuck the rest of my hair under. The lace is kind of matching my scalp. If you want, you could just put a little bit of foundation on there and you'd be good to go. Nobody's gonna know, it's all good. Then I get some Mixed Chicks Curl Serum. This stuff is gold. I use it on my natural hair, but I'm gonna use it to untwist the Bantu knots just to give me a little bit of slip. And you can see the texture of the hair now. I should have really twisted my hair in the front, but I just didn't have the time. But it still works, it's still blended. You can see the curls are really well defined and the hair didn't get damaged at all from the bleach. So to separate them out, I just separate the two strand twist and then I kind of fluff it up with my fingers, being really careful to get in between the separations and not make it get all fluffy and, you know, frizzy. We don't want that. Once I've untwisted and fluffed all the Bantu knots, I then blend the front of my hair. I clip in the combs in the wig and blend as much as possible. Blend people, blend, blend, blend. I didn't put any products in my own hair just because I didn't feel that I needed to. I could have just, you know, I could have gelled those edges a little bit, but we're trying to go for the natural look, right? So just left it as it is. And I just fluffed it as much as possible, but it looks really natural. Look at that. And because it is really like 4C hair, it is shrinking just a little bit because, you know, Bantu knots kind of shrink it out. So you really have to fluff. So I did some more fluffing with my Afro comb. But I really like the look, it's cute. I'm gonna lift it again because I didn't get the exact color that I wanted and it's a bit too coppery for me. So I might lift it again to blonde, but I'm gonna take some time to do that. I'm just showing you guys some other variations, some other styles you can do with this hair because as I said, it doesn't have any track. So you can put it half up, half down. You can leave some of your hair out in the front. You can just go for it. This one is my favorite. It's really easy. Just pop a scarf in there, put your hair up and then you're good to go. For this one, I leave the back of my hair out just a little bit so that you can't spot the wig in there, you know? I don't know what it is, but having Afro hair makes me look so young. I look like a little girl. Look at those chubby cheeks. <laughs> so it's literally just me arranging the hair and putting it in, you know, various states. And you can also do puffs, you can do one, you could also do two puffs, you can do one plait. Literally, the sky is the limit. You could do whatever it is that you want with this hair. Go wild, girl. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Look at me playing with that hair. <laughs>